Today we will discuss about the internal structure of dicot stem and monocot stem in plant anatomy and plant physiology. So in the previous class you have seen the internal structure of dicot root and monocot root. In this you are going to see the internal structure of dicot stem and monocot stem. So the internal structure of dicot stem example here they had given is a sunflower stem. So sunflower stem you took as cross section and you keep it under the microscope. You can see the following structures. Epidermis, cortex, endodermis and steel. So this is the ground plan of the dicot stem in cross section or transverse section. Epidermal hair, epidermis, hypodermis, cortex, endodermis, vascular bundle, pith. So these are the parts you are going to see in detail. This ground plan is the cross section you took means it will be like this in the slide with the cells. So this is the portion enlarged structure. So epidermis. You can see this epidermis now. It is made up of single layer. The epidermis is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells. And its function is. What its function? Same thing what you have read it in the root. Protection. And it has stomata. So the stomata checks the transpiration. And gaseous exchange. Okay. This tomato. And it has cuticle. You can see here the cuticle. The cuticle which protects the epidermis. And the cuticle is made up of cutane. And you can see the epidermal hair. So the epidermal hair is multicellular. Many cells. It is made up of many cells. Okay. So this is epidermis. Next we move on to the hypodermis. You can see a few layers. So this portion is the hypodermis. A few layers made up of colon chyma cells. And what is the function of hypodermis? The function is mechanical support to the plant. Gives mechanical support to the plant. So a few layers here. You have a few layers. Below the epidermis is called hypodermis. Hypo means below. Dermis. So below the epidermis, the few layers are there. They are made up of colon chyma in sunflower stem. Okay. And next to the layer, that is, the next to the hypodermis is parenchyma, that is, is chlorenchyma. So you can see the green part, that is the green portion, which is filled with the chloroplast, the parenchyma. Filled with the chloroplast is called chlorenchyma. And what is the function? Photosynthesis. And the next layer is parenchyma cells. You can see the parenchyma cells. This is the parenchyma cells. And here the function is storage. So the cortex, that is the cortex is divided into three parts. Hypodermis is cholenchyma. The second layer is chlorenchyma. And the third layer is parenchyma. So their function is photosynthesis, mechanical support and storage. And the innermost layer is endodermis. Here the endodermis is filled with starch grain. So it is called as starch sheath. And you can see a bundle cap here that is the pericycle is con in continuous. It is not continuous like dicot root or monocot root. So here this portion till this portion is the pericycle and this portion. So it is made up of uh, sclerenchyma cells. You can see the sclerenchyma cells. This, this portion is the sclerenchyma cells and it is in continuous. It is not continuing. Okay. It is not continuing and it looks like a cap. So it uh, looks like a cap on the bundle that is vascular bundle. You put a cap now like that it is. So it is called bundle cap or hard bast. You can name it as hard bast or bundle cap. And the next layer is the phloem. That is next we are going to see about the vascular bundle in that phloem, cambium and xylem. Uh, I had uh, explained conjoined collateral open vascular bundle that is xylem and phloem are in the same radius and forms a bundle is known as conjoined and collateral. If the cambium is present 
in the in between xylem and phloem that bundle is called open and the shape is wedge shape wedge shape means cone shape the vascular bundle shape is cone shape so cone shape means wedge shape okay it looks like a wedge that is a, like a cone shape and in flow that is the xylem are in line order okay so this is next we move on to the pith the pith is made up of parenchyma cells in the center it is present so it is also named as medulla so medulla means middle region so the pith is present in the center okay it forms the center portion and it is made up of parenchyma cells with intercellular and its function is storage okay so this is with the help of diagram and the parts i had explained you and now i going to uh, read it that is with a clear explanation you you can once more i can going to tell the epidermis so epidermis you can see the portion the epidermis is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells this is the single layer uh, on the top of the epidermis you can see the cuticle which protects the epidermis epidermis and you can see the epidermal hair too okay epidermal hair from the epidermis and what is the function of epidermis giving protection to the inner tissue so this is epidermis point next the cortex in the cortex is divided into three regions that is hypodermis this region this region is hypodermis hypo means below the epidermis it is made up of colon chyma it gives mechanical support and the second layer that is the middle layer is made up of the des chlorenchyma that is parenchyma filled with the chloroplast is called chlorenchyma function is photosynthesis and next the parenchyma the parenchyma the, what is the function storage and the innermost layer of the uh, cortex is endodermis it is same it is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells and it is filled with starch the starch grains are seen in the endodermis so it is called as starch sheet okay next the steel pericycle vascular bundle and pith so you can see this portion is pericycle that is the upper cap like portion no this portion is pericycle and this is xylem and this is phloem and this portion is pith okay so we will see in detail and the next the pericycle the pericycle forms the bundle cap so as i said it is made up of parent that is clearan chyma cells and it is in continuous so you can see a gap in between so here there is no clearan chyma cells so the bundle it forms a vascular bundle cap so it is named as bundle cap and you can see the phloem here and xylem in between the cambium is present so it is open vascular bundle so pericycle is multi layer alternating patches that is in a patches only it is there um, with whom it is alternating parenchyma cell so he, this is pericycle and this is parenchyma so this is parenchyma like that it is alternating and the bundle cap they may ask in two marks so the hard sclerenchyma acious tissue outside to the phloem so here this is phloem outside to the phloem forms a hard portion made up of sclerenchyma is known as bundle cap and vascular bundle is conjoined collateral end are open and it forms a ring that is it forms a around the ring it forms a, it forms the pith around the pith it forms a ring so that is that is the structure of a vascular bundle so conjoined means so phloem and xylem forms a bundle together that is the same definition and they are say present on the same radii both the phloem and the xylem in the same radii and if the cambium is present in between xylem and phloem then the bundle is known as open now the pith this is the pith portion that is made this is seen in the center of the um, plant that is the center of the stem and it is made up of parenchyma cells with intercellular so this portion as i so this is the intercellular portion that is in between the cell there is a gap now this gap that is known as intercellular spaces and what is the function of the pith storage of food materials 
So now you understand about the dicot stem. Now you are going to see about the monocot stem. So when you take a monocot stem example is maize. You take a maize stem cross section. You get the following structures. Epidermis, hypodermis, ground tissue, vascular bundle and pith. So the ground plan of monocot stem. Epidermis, ground tissue, vascular bundles. And there is no, you can see itself here itself, there is no differentiation of hypodermis, parenchyma and even pericycle, pith. So there is no differentiation, there is no parts at all. You can, so it's very simple, no, compared to the dicot stem, it is very simple. So one layer, there is no pericycle, there is no endodermis, even cortex. So like that and all, not uh, he, uh, here uh, we, we won't see it. So we will see only the epidermis, ground tissue and vascular tissues. Okay, so the epidermis, same. The epidermis is made up of single layer of parenchyma cells. And the epidermis is protected by cuticle. And the function of epidermis is protection the uh, inner tissues. Next here, the hypodermis. The hypodermis is made up of sclerenchyma. 2 to 3 layer, it is made up of sclerenchyma. And in between, you can see the chlorenchyma cells. So, the hypodermis contains sclerenchyma and chlorenchyma. Sclerenchyma gives mechanical support to the plant. And chlorenchyma, what is the function? Photosynthesis. Okay. And you can see the vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue. So, this tissue is called ground tissue. It is scattered in the, that is what is scattered. Vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue. Okay. And now we move on to the, that is what is the function of vascular bundle? Storage. Storage, ah? No. The function of ground tissue is storage and the function of vascular bundle is conduction of food and conduction of water. Okay. So, we will see. You can see. You can you can see. It, is, it looks like our skull. So, two eyes. So, two eyes are this is the metaxylum and the, this portion is protoxylum. Looks like the nose and you have a very long mouth which is known as protoxylum lacuna. So it looks like a skull shaped. So the vascular bundle is skull shaped. Okay. And, and, uh, and another thing it also it looks like the Y shape or V shape. So the xylem is in Y shape or V shape. And the phloem is like our forehead. So this portion the phloem is like our forehead. And it is surrounded by bundle sheath made up of sclerenchyma cells. In mature vascular bundles, this protoxylum disintegrates and forms the protoxylum lacu protoxylum lacuna. Okay, protoxylum lacuna. Lacuna and the function is the same uh, the protoxylum form, that is protoxylum, the xylem function is conduction of water and the phloem function is conduction of food materials. And the mature bundles in the middle and the young bundles in the periphery. So here you can see the mature bundle and near the epidermal region you can see the young bundles. So now we will see in detail epidermis, the same thing, single layer of parenchyma cells. And you can see the cuticle which protects the epidermis and epidermis protects the inner tissue and stomata are very less here and multi, that is multicellular hairs are absent you see multicellular hairs in dicot stem but here it is absent hypodermis below the epidermis is called hypodermis here it is made up of sclerenchyma in between the hypo that is uh, sclerenchyma cells you can chlorenchyma you can see some chlorenchyma cells. The chlorenchyma cells function is photosynthesis and the hypodermal cells chlorenchyma function is mechanical support. Ground tissue. It is made up of parenchymaceous. Parenchymaceous and there is no differentiation. There is no differentiation of endodermis, cortex, pericycle and pet. So vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue. So I, as I said it is a skull shaped tissue. So it is a skull shaped vascular bundle shape is Skull shaped and it is scattered in the ground tissue. Conjoint collateral, end dark and closed. End dark and closed means here you, you can see any uh, cambium in between the xylem and phloem? No. So, 
the vascular bundles are that is closed that means conjoined collateral induct and closed and each bundle sheet that is each vascular bundle is surrounded by sclerenchyma cells called bundle sheath so they may ask this bundle sheath in two marks so xylem the xylem as i said it is v shaped or y shaped in mature vascular bundle the lower most protoxylem disintegrates and forms a lacuna which is called protoxylem lacuna this this they may ask in two marks and phloem sieve tube that is sieve tube elements and companion cells are present phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers are absent in the monocot stem and pith there is no differentiation because the only thing is the ground tissue the ground tissue is parenchymaceous and there is no differentiation of cortex pericycle endodermis and pith so no differentiation vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue and now we will see the differences between monocot stem and dicot stem so dicot stem monocot stem hypodermis in dicot stem it is cholenchymaceous in monocot stem it is sclerenchymaceous ground tissue is differentiated into cortex endodermis pericycle and pith in monocot stem and differentiation there is no differentiation of cortex pericycle endodermis and pith vascular bundles less in number numerous that is more in number in the monocot stem less in number in dicot stem and uniform size in dicot stem not uniform size so they are smaller at the epidermal area and larger in the center and they are arranged in ring in dicot stem and in monocot stem they are scattered the vascular bundles are open because cambium is present the vascular bundles are closed because cambium is absent in monocot stem so bundle sheath absent in dicot stem bundle sheath present in monocot stem and you can add this point also bundle cap is present in dicot stem and bundle cap is absent in monocot stem and secondary growth is present in dicot stem mostly absent in monocot stem pith present in mono dicot stem absent in monocot stem medullary rays present in dicot stem absent in monocot stem so this question they may ask in 7 marks or in 5 marks so it is an important 5 mark question so as related to the topic i have given some of the question describe the structure of dicot stem write the differences between dicot stem and monocot stem so hope you understand the topic thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel